What's up guys, it's Here's Johnny here with another video. Okay, solo players, are you guys tired of getting graded? Tired of not being able to get started? Just getting wrecked by people? Getting wrecked by big tribes? Are you tired of just feeling like there's nowhere safe to put your loot, ESP? There's nothing you can do really to just acquire more loot and get stronger in the game, progress in the game? If so, then your boy Here's Johnny has got a trick for you. So all you gotta do is make sure you've got multiple characters, all right? So go ahead and create your characters. Um, you know, you could have your main character and then whichever other character you want, really. Um, the second character doesn't matter. Whatever level it is, doesn't matter, all right? What you're gonna wanna do is make sure your characters are uploaded into Arc like this. Um, so they should show up on the download list right here. So you can download Survivor onto basically any server on that cluster, right? Whether it's official, unofficial, whatever it is. Have your characters here ready to go to download. All right, so all you're gonna do is select your preferred character and just play with it like normal. Do whatever you wanna do. Do some farming, do some raiding, do some PVP, you know, tame some dinos, whatever. Uh, just use your character. You know, say you uh, harvest a bunch of metal or you found a bunch of good loot. Like you, uh, you hit the Gen 2 loot drops, you found a bunch of tech structures, you've been farming up tech structures. Um, say you got a bunch of tamed, uh, some cryos of tames. So you've got a bunch of loot now, right? And you're ready to log off with it. You want your loot to stay safe. You don't want somebody to, you know, find your hidden loot somewhere, your hidden base where you're putting your loot. So what you're gonna wanna do is just get all that loot. You can slot cap yourself, overweight yourself, whatever it is. I got a bunch of hex points. Let me just stuff myself with stone here. All right, so I'm overweight, I'm encumbered, and I got a bunch of loot, right? So say this is really important loot. I wanna keep it safe, right? So as you know, the safest place you're gonna wanna put your loot is in upload, but there's only about 50 slots you can store in upload. So this is the way to get around it, right? So you want to have as much loot and upload as possible. You got your loot, and what you're going to do is shove your loot inside storage, such as a vault or a mannequin. You know, have like 300 slots plus, that's a slot cap. And go ahead and put your loot there, and we're going to do a little pass off to our other character, right? So also what you could do is simply drop a bag, okay? So you're going to pass off your loot to your other character. So drop a bag, shove it in a vault, shove it in a mannequin, Make sure you remember where it's at, right? Uh, make sure you keep an eye on the server. You know, I'm on, let's see, 152. All right, there's my bag. So I'm gonna pass that off to my other character. So go ahead and upload your current character. Don't wanna overwrite your characters, guys. Only one character per server, ever. Don't overwrite your character. So let me choose any server, doesn't matter. Now, in case you didn't know this, you don't want to spawn in on this server, okay? You want to stay uploaded. So you're going to want to just exit out of this server, okay? Go back to the server list. Go to that server you were just on. All right, there is a server. Join. Okay, now you see I have both characters uploaded. And I dropped a bag, so I want to do this quick. So I'm going to grab the character in which I'm not going to play with. I'm going to upload this character for up to 24 hours, okay? I'm gonna keep this character and upload with my slot cap of loot. So go ahead and spawn in, and you're gonna get to your loot and grab the loot. All right, here we go. There's my bag, right here. Dropped by Here's Johnny, right? Now go ahead and grab all your loot. You might have to popcorn. This is probably gonna be super messy. Uh, you might wanna grab a whip for this. Especially if this is super important loot, you don't want to lose any of it. So popcorn to yourself. If it's a mannequin that makes it easy, you can pull it all out. All right, there's my loot. Look at that loot. <laughs> so you're just going to pick up all your loot, right? Don't popcorn it everywhere like that. That was stupid. Take your time with it. Um, popcorn it to yourself. Grab it from a mannequin. All right, make sure you get all the loot. Now I'm slot capped with loot, okay? This is important loot. I want to keep it safe. All right, now let's go ahead and check the upload timer because we're going to want to upload our character. So timer just popped. All right, all my loot's ready to upload. Travel to another server. Choose any server, okay? Doesn't matter which one. Now, again, when we get to the screen, we're going to exit, okay? We're not going to spawn in on this random server, okay? Exit to main menu. Go to any server you want to play on because um, now, let me, let me pull this up for you. All right, let's say I want to go to Aberration. Now, check it out. We have both our characters in upload, okay? This character here, 
This is the character with a slot cap of loot, okay? This is my loot character. It's in upload and you got 24 hours to uh, download this out in order to save your loot or else it's gonna be gone, okay? Your loot will be gone from your character within 24 hours. Now you can keep this loot here and go ahead and play with your character. You got 24 hours to play with your character. You could log off, take a break, go to bed, you know, get some sleep, whatever you wanna do. And you got your loot safely here and upload a slot cap of loot. So you heard it right here. This is how you upload a slot cap of loot and don't lose it. Don't lose it to ESP. Don't lose it to people scouting you with parasaurs. Don't, don't lose your loot, all right? You got your loot safe right here. So this is a super useful trick and I hope at least one of you found it useful. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next.